Hello guys, so as you can see over here, this is the Redmi Note 4G and Redmi Note 4G is running on the CyanogenMod 12 which is based on 5.0.2 As you can see in the Android version it's Android Lollipop game which is very frustrating and as you can see it's based on 5.0.2 which is the latest Lollipop which we have and uh, this is the CyanogenMod 12 version for the Redmi Note 4G and most of the things on this is working but the kernel sources are not out yet for the Redmi Note 4G so few things are not working so all the things which are not working or the bugs will be written in the description below and if not then you can check the XTA thread for the bug list and then you can decide if you want to flash the ROM or not if you want to flash the ROM I have already made a separate video on that so I'll be I'll give the link of that video in the description below so don't forget to check that out follow those instructions and uh, you can flash the ROM most of the Cyanogen Mod 12 features are there like uh, you can by double tapping on the status bar you can lock the screen and some of the lollipop features like if you slide from right then you will get to the dial pad of the phone and if we go into settings once again and you can change the battery status style like if you want the battery status to be like circle and percentage in the circle then you can select that uh, and you there are multiple options which you can select in the CM12 and the ROM is pre-rooted so you don't have to separately go and root the ROM so that's a good thing. If you face major issues like battery drain, then you can download app called as NoFrill CPU Control. Download that and uh, select minimum clock frequency as 300 MHz and maximum clock frequency as 1.5 GHz. And if you want, then you can select 1.344 GHz. Select apply. And now grant all the root permissions. And now grant the root permissions. And now the minimum clock frequency will be 300 megahertz. So whenever the device is not completely in use, the device will be at 300 megahertz and the most of the battery will be saved. And you can use app called as Greenify. By using this, you can Greenify most of the apps. I have in detail video explaining the use of no frill CPU control and the Greenify app. So I'll give the link of that video in the description below. You can follow those steps and you will be able to get most of your battery life on the lollipop. And all the major things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. is working very fine. Like music output and everything is working fine. So there are no issues like that. And we have to use these apps because kernel sources for the Redmi Note 4G are not out yet. So the ROM is not as stable as it will be when the kernel sources are out. But you can always try the ROM by using the CWM option of backup the current ROM. And then you can restore the backup of MIUI later on. And you can try this ROM. So this is it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching.